Hey guys, hello and welcome to another one of my fantastic videos. Uh, so, in theory, I spent $60 on opening lockboxes, but I didn't because I opened them on the test server. So what I did was, I had a character, I grinded a lockbox, took like maybe 20 seconds to get one of those. They lower the drop chance, but I don't really see that happening. Uh, so, and the second thing I did was I went to the auction house, I bought a key, 410 globals and I transferred that character to the test server about 60 times. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't sound like a lot but it, it took a while to get all that transferred and open up each box individually. Oh man. But just to prove that I did, I mean look I have all these and I have all these and all these oh, oh man and there you go. So the old dead man number 60 is who I'm going to log in today. Turn my volume down a bit. And I think I'm rolling over my cord with my chair. Not a great idea. Okay, so I logged him in. Now what he got was a flavor of the champ... No, favor. Not flavor. Favor of the champions. Gives you XP boost and he got some 25 uh, mods of this thing. Uh, so let me go through my mail real quick and then I'm going to cut the video because I don't think you guys really want to see all my mail. And then see you in a few seconds. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> As you can see, I received lots of things. Now, I opened up 60 boxes, and I didn't mail myself the green mods that I received just because I didn't really find them to be that exciting, but I did mail myself the blue ones. And you do get some mods for opening these boxes, obviously. As you can see here, you get quite a few. The least amount I got was a stack of five, and the most was a stack of 25. Like this growth amulet here, I got 25 of those. I got 25 of these sentinel brooches things. Brooch, brooch, whatever <laughs> whatever you want to call it. So, that's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome. I did get a whole bunch of these XP boosters in favor of the champions. But the cool stuff that I did get was I did get a helmet. And I did get a chest piece. And I got these... Uh, and I got this premium lockbox gear kit, and I got, you know, two special lockbox gear kits, and I did get a Grav Chariot Centurion, the little uh, slipper thing you, you can drive. And what else did I get? I got some of these crafting skill ups, which aren't really that exciting. But anyway, enough of that. Let's go try out this little thing here. Here we go. It's a oh man, here we go. This is amazing. Okay, so it has lots of slots. It has three weapon slots, two defensive systems slots, and one support system slot. And it goes really fast. I think I might have hit the boost already. I think I did. Okay. Let's go test this baby out real quick. Whee! Okay, let's see. Uh, Hmm. Oh, here we go. Here's some dudes. It's very interesting. <laughs> okay, this guy's a jet. But, oh my goodness, what am I doing? Okay, let's test this thing out and then... Oh man, what was that? Okay, the plasma beam. Okay, plasma beam goes through a straight line. Then you had your missile, micro-munitions, and what's this? Uh, heat ray. So there you go. Um, this is what it looks like. Someone mentioned it looked like Destroyer's foot, which it kind of does, really. This is as much as I can zoom in. I can't zoom in anymore. So there you go. I got one on the test server. So that was about my 30th box I opened. Just to give like a little thing there. And look how fast you go. See special gear what I get? I received what I get. I received a four slot. That's pretty nice. Put four mods in there. I don't want to equip it, I just want to look at it. There we go. Ooh, two armor slots, two defense slots. Nice. Sorry this seems a bit uneventful. I'm just kind of uh, looking at it real quick. And then oh I got oh my god, five rank sevens. I got all this cool gear. Oh, I was in an, in an epic box. Oh man, 
stuttering on myself. I apologize. So there you go. If you're lucky enough to get one of those epic boxes, you can get a really cool rank 7 mods, 4 slot gear things. Oh man. Okay, so enough of that. It kind of feels a bit disjointed. I apologize. I should have organized this video better if I didn't. So, a few seconds. I'm going to show you those really cool costume pieces. Hey guys, all right, here's the helmet. Now, you can have it in metal cloth, eye slits, so you can see what you're doing. Sounds pretty nice. Eye slits, I believe, is metal at default, so you can only have metal eye slits. Leather, and then just pure metal. Now, the interesting thing is that you have, you know, this, let me just change colors real quick, you know, like, really ugly looking green, get some pink going, uh, try some blue, and this part glows, so let's make that a really nice red, orange. Okay, that looks beautiful. Okay, so you can have this on any type of category. Full masks, you can have it hats and helmets, you can use it with full helmets, face mask, armor, hoods, any category you can have this helmet on. So, interesting, I thought. There's no restrictions on it, so thumbs up. Hooray. Now we can check out the chess piece here. Comes in metal, cloth, and leather. And I'm pretty sure you can only achieve this... Well, maybe you can't. Oh, actually, judging by the way it is, you can have this on anything, such as jackets with floaty arms. <laughs> what a fantastic thing to have. Okay, so, that's cool. Let's uh, pick the same color scheme almost here. Absolutely beautiful here. Dreadful, I might add. That looks awful. But anyway, I thought it was cool. You can put it on any type of uh, category so you're not limited, because that's always a big problem. When you get like a new costume piece, it's always like, oh, I can't use it here. Uh, but you can use this anywhere. Anywhere you want, you may use it. So that's it. That's my video, I think. Wasn't really a good one, but I made one. So thanks for watching. And I mean, I could open up another 60 boxes to see if I get the third costume piece, but I'd rather not. So anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye, and see you next time, hopefully.